Hi, I'm Craig McLeod and welcome to Drift My Ride. Today we've got Kieran 657cc Suzuki Cappuccino. The Suzuki Cappuccino starred in Initial D, driven by the rally driver Sakamoto. Created for the Japanese market, the hardtop mini car was designed to meet the Kia car specifications. Weighing 725 kilograms, the Cappuccino is powered by a turbocharged three-cylinder 657cc engine, just under the 660cc maximum displacement allowed for the Kia car. Power output was claimed at 63 horsepower at 6,500 RPM to fit under the maximum power allowed for Kia cars. Hi, how are you doing? Nice to meet you, Craig. No, nice to meet you too. So we've brought something really different yep. here. This is a, a Suzuki Cappuccino. So she's tiny to start with, isn't it? Yeah. This is this is smaller than an MX-5. Smaller than an MX-5. So. Like we'll probably be weight coming in at how much would it? Seven hundred kilograms. Seven hundred kilograms, and with both of us, maybe eight hundred. Yeah, <laughs> maybe a bit more. <laughs> maybe a bit more true. You bought this as a track car, have you? What bought was it, it as a toy, uh -huh. something to play about with. How, uh, how long ago was it? You two it? years ago. Two years ago, and you, did you buy it standard? I bought it standard. And you've done quite a lot to it since yeah. then. So, yeah. uh, should we start with like the uh, let's let's start with the outside and work our way in. Okay. So, uh, you've done bumpers. I've done front and back bumper. Uh -huh. It's a US racing body kit. Cool. I've got a takeoff spoiler from Japan. Uh huh. I've got a custom made splitter uh -huh. that I've done myself. I have. New Japan racing wheels. Yeah. Oh, do you get that? And is this all from Japan? Do you have to get the stuff shipped over? Or could you get it here? Uh, some of the stuff I got second hand. Okay. Some of the stuff I get new oh, right, because okay. it's difficult to get parts. Yeah, it's just not a normal car. <laughs> yeah. So there's at least think 350 of them on the road still. Yep. And you've taken one to for let like, us to drift. Yes. So, okay. <laughs> so hopefully still 350 by the end of yeah. the day. Uh, do they modify them quite a lot then? In yeah, there's Japan? a really big tuning scene for it, uh -huh. uh, especially in Japan, New Zealand, uh, Canada, uh -huh. and then obviously around the UK. Oh, right, and so what made you think, right, this is the car for me? What was it? Did you, is this just an impulse buy or was it? Uh, no, I searched for this for a while. Uh -huh. Yeah, I wanted something that was different and would stand out, yeah. <laughs> and I like small cars. Yeah, oh, this totally checks all of those <laughs> yep. boxes we've got like a 657 yep. yeah yeah i got that but it's turbocharged as well yes. isn't it yeah what have you done to the engine then the engine has had bigger injectors a new ecu custom made intercooler uh -huh. uh, it's got the boost control uh, I've got my boost gauge fitted, I've had a short shift kit. Yeah. And boost control from the dashboard. Yeah. You got that. Yeah, Easy access. Cool. Yeah. And what, what boost do you run in it? Are you... It's running 14 PSI. 14 PSI. 1.1 bar. 1.1 bar, cool. And so what do what do we think that makes? Or do you know? Has it yep. been dynoed? Yeah, it's been dynoed and remapped. Oh cool. So the standard was 63 and it's now 85 horsepower. Awesome. It's a big jump, eh? Yeah. Yeah. Percentage wise. Yeah, no what? Percentage wise, absolutely, yeah. Uh, uh, we've also got a like, convertible here, so is it we Targa? Is it like. Is yeah, it? you can have it as a T bar, a Targa, or you can uh, <laughs> roll down the back window as well for a full convertible. So you got a full convertible. Also. Yep. But it all pot, and this is all like jigsaw pieces yep. into the rear, so you've yep. just got a. It's a tiny wee boot, yep. but then it's just big enough to fit all this. Yep, goes in like a jigsaw. Awesome. Have you done anything? Suspension? What's been Suspension, done? I've got BC racing suspension coilovers. Uh -huh. Uh, Again from Japan? No, nope, from the UK. Oh really? Yep. There's a tuning, the, the, you managed to second hand or did you? No, bought new. Alright, cool. Yeah, some parts you can get, I don't know why, others you can't. <laughs> brakes, have the brakes been done in it as well? Or? Uh, the discs have been upgraded to drilled and grooved from uh -huh. just normal ones uh -huh. uh, to help with brake fade, which you do get in the track sometimes. Uh, yeah, because you track this, uh, you've tracked this a bit, haven't you? Take Not kill and trail. trail. Yeah, and how, how does it perform? What's it like? It holds its own in the corners and just lacks a wee bit in the straights with the bigger cars. Yeah. But I've not raced against anyone since I've had all the engine work done, so uh, okay. I need to take it up and uh, have some competition. Uh, steering wise, have we had anything done this year? Nothing done to the steering. No power steering or anything to, to make it go wrong, so nice and simple. Yeah, there's no there's no like extras in this, is no. it? No ABS. No. No power steering. Just all super lightweight. Yep. The only other things I've done apart from that is the sound system. Oh, it's banging on the sound system. So you get 800 watts of sound or something. Like 800 that. watts. 
I said, right, let's see, how do we do, like, where's our, we need keys. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. It's like you, you can't hear. I, I can't no. hear anything from over there. And yeah. the pedals are moving too. Yeah. Uh, it's yeah, awesome. I think there's nothing left for it but to take the first spin. Yeah. Ready? Let's go. Let's go for it. See what this thing's like. Right. Oh, super notchy. I love it. A ref gauge at 12 grand. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Bit of poke in her as well, yeah. isn't there? Punch. Eight grand, so we'll set it. Which is, yeah. Brakes are a little bit getting used to no power brakes in there at yeah. all, is there? Oh, well, we got some, we got some <laughs> skid. <laughs> right, I'm gonna have to manhandle her at this. A little bit of manhandling, it's right. Cheeky. <laughs> it's cheeky, right. Let's go in, let's see what we can do, right. <laughs> oh, one wheel skids. Come on, out we go. Ah, uh, uh, open diff life is. Uh, <laughs> Oh, <laughs> almost. <laughs> right, so we've got an open diff, so she's not really wanting to. She doesn't really want to skid about too much. Let's see. Right. Come on, round in. It's so short as well. It is, it really wants you kind of gotta you gotta like a, you gotta catch it before you need <laughs> yeah. to catch it kind of stuff, right. And then you get a big bit of understeer. Yeah, there's definitely this kind of snap situation going on. Right. Okay, so maybe if we're in first through here we can get a wee bit. You call it the open diff's just spinning up one wheel at the moment. Yeah. Just, uh, I think if we get it down here, we've got a chance. Right, let's see. Oh, come on. Yeah, you really need to work for it. It's kind of like you're not quite too sure what the front is because it's so light. You're not, yeah. you don't get a massive amount of feeling through the, Oh, and then it snaps the other way. Yeah. You kind of want to catch it. You've got a really small window to catch it in. Yeah. Like, and then if you've not <laughs> caught it, it then jumps to understeer. Yeah. You're like, no, no. <laughs> is the <laughs> understeer is the worrying bit? Yeah, you're like, no, I don't want to go to the words outside of the corner. Right, here we go. Spinning, oh, <laughs> then it just sort of catches itself. <laughs> Almost. <laughs> kind of, kind of. I don't know if we are skidding there. It sounds like there's noises coming, yeah. like we're skidding, but. That was, that was that was almost that was kind of like <laughs> yeah, three yeah, corners. Yeah. We we're almost there. It will do it. It's just proper like right. You really need to attack it right. So I kind of now we're spinning. Now we're spinning. Oh, and then it's. <laughs> It's so close, it's like... <laughs> oh, that's oh, that, that, that oh, was 
one. That was one there. We got one. We got one. Right. Oh, one more lap, and then let's see if you can just get just through here a touch. Oh. Oh, and then that diff kicks in and screws up our fun. How many things? <laughs> oh, I'm knackered! I can't even get out of breath! I can't, I can't do anymore! Okay. Because there's no power steering either! Yeah! No power steering, no power brakes! I don't think I could do a five minute session with this car! Oh man! It's so much fun! Loads of fun! Is a drift car? No. If it, maybe if the welded diff, because then you'd be yeah. Like, it's totally trying to sort ourselves out. Like when you're when you hit a what do you call it? Right in there, especially just coming through that, and then it, you were on angle, and then it didn't want you to transition. Yeah. And it would just like go no power, go here, and then it would be like really difficult to catch. And there's no, there wasn't enough power to force it through, so. Yeah dude, awesome fun. Thank you very much for bringing her along. You're welcome.